Hi everybody, welcome back to Control Zero. Today I have a Metasys tutorial and I will show you how to change point parameters without using CCT. And I will give you three cool tricks that you can do when you are commissioning or doing point to point check. Number one, calibrate your sensors using the offset parameter. Number two, change your COB or change your value. And I'll explain you why sometimes you need to adjust this parameter. And number three, change the range of your input and outputs. For example, if you have a sensor that was configured as 0 to 50 PSI, but it's actually 0 to 25 PSI, well, good news, you can do all this within Metasys without even opening CCT, the controller configuration tool. Okay, so let's get started. So right now I have a Metasys window open and I have an NA35 and under it, I have an FC trunk, a BAB and a condenser water system, two simple applications. And on my right, right hand side, I have my BAB application in commissioning mode so I can show you how the values are actually uh, updated as we change them in Metasys. So here is the trick. If you double click your trunk, and then go to the engineering tab. Here's where everything is. So first thing is gonna tell you that the, the node appears to be empty. So we need to discover devices under this trunk. So I'm just gonna click yes. Then it's gonna start scanning for devices. Okay, and since I only have two, I'm just gonna stop it. Then I'm gonna close. Then I'm gonna expand right here. And I'm gonna expand my BAV1. Again, it is telling me that there's no points. Well, we need to discover this is only for the first time. Once you do it the first time, you don't have to do this again. So just click yes. And it's gonna start scanning for points. Okay, now we close this window and I'm gonna expand my VAV. Then you can see that under my BB, there are these uh, new kind of points. But we're gonna skip all this. I just wanna go to my first point, how to calibrate your thermostat or discharge temperatures. So let's start with my thermostat. I know that my thermostat is under the SA bus. So I'm gonna click over here, the plus sign. And here's my zone net sensor. Hit the plus sign and here's my zone temperature. So. I'll double click on the zone temperature and you'll see that I have a lot of the a lot of the point parameters that are actually my point parameters in my CCT application. And remember, we're doing everything for Metasys, but, I, but I'm using CCT so you can actually see the comparison. And as many of you know, uh, in order to calibrate my thermostat, we got to change my offset parameters, which is this guy right here. And we also have it in here. So as simple as going to edit. And okay, before doing this, I'm just gonna go to view. I'm gonna add an additional window so you can see the value changing in here as well. So here's my zone temperature. Okay, so we are at 74.9 degrees right now. So let's say that you wanna change, let's change the offset to one. Let's put a big number, one. As soon as I hit save, you're gonna see that my one is gonna be updated uh, right here. In here, and it's gonna, my temperature reading is gonna go to 76.1, right there, 76.1, and my offset got changed right here. So that's how easy you can calibrate your sensor. And also, if I go to my CCT, you'll see that my value will also update in here, so you can do it either way. So I just click edit, it takes a little while. Let's do negative one, apply. And you'll see that it's gonna change here to 74.1 or 74, we'll see. 74.2, okay. Or here you may say, oh, it didn't update, but yeah, you can, if you double click on your point, you see that it actually updated. All right, guys, so for my second trick, changing the COB increments or change of value, which you can find it right here in CCT, in my zone temperature, or over here in Metasys, I like to have it at least set to 0.1. And I'll explain why with an example. So let's first change this to 0.1. 
and then save and we should see the update right here there you go and i think all temperature points are set to 0.3 increments by default which is all right but if you want to calibrate your room temperature sensor it's better to have them at 0.1 now i want to show you why by looking at the discharge air temperature as an example so let me close my zone temperature and I'll open my discharge air temperature here. And notice that this two has the point three. We'll see it in a second. Right here. Now I want you to look at these trends that I have set up on my discharge air. Basically, they record every time the temperature changes. So if you look closely, you'll see a pattern. So as the temperature starts increasing, you can see that it increases every 0 0.3, see 0 0.0, 0 0.3, 0 0.6, 0 0.9. And that's because we are limited to 0 0.3 degrees of increment. Now, if I change my increment to 0 0.1, let's see what happens. So I'm going to double click on my discharge error right here and go to edit. right here i'm gonna set it to 0.1 save and now we're gonna try to change the temperature so i have a little variable resistor that i can play with so you will see the changes so we're at 89.4 right now so i'm gonna try to drop the temperature all right 89.3 i'm gonna refresh and it changed by 0.1 let's do drop it keep on keep on dropping it 89.2 So right here you can see if you were to uh, calibrate a room temperature sensor uh, you will have a more precise uh, feedback when you're reading your sensor and changing your uh, offset value because you can calibrate it by the 0.1 precision. Now for my last trick changing input and output parameters from Metasys I'm going to start with a quick and easy one to follow a heating valve output and let's say that we have a 2 to 10 volts DC Belimo valve but we made the mistake of not setting it as a 2 to 10 but instead we set it as a 0 to 10 volts so let's see and you know how to fix it so you know that under my hardware setup in order to make it 2 to 10 volts we must set my minimum output value to 20% and my max to 100%. But in this case, we have 0 and 100, which means 0 to 10 volts. So we want to change my 0% or my minimum to 20. So it's equivalent to 2 volts. So let's do this from Metasys. So we'll double click on our trunk. Then we go to the engineering tab. We locate my BAB, expand that, and I'll just double click on my heating output. Then we look for our minimum output value, which is this guy right here. Min output value, not the min and max. I can do a tutorial on what this means later. So I go to edit, I'll do 20, save, 20%. Let's wait for this to update, 20%. And you got it that easy okay now let's change the parameters of an analog input a differential pressure sensor so we have our condenser water system here so here's our sensor and it is unreliable and it has a couple issues so I'm gonna show you so let's expand my condenser water system under my engineering tab and let's look for that sensor which is right here double click on it and we can see that it was configured as a 0 to 10 volt sensor and a 0 to 50 psi range and let's say that the actual sensor that was installed it's a 0 to 5 volts and a 0 to 25 psi and let me open that sensor here as well and i also want to explain you what's the difference between these min and max values and the output range low and high because both have the same units psi so my mean and max values they actually define the reliability of the point and you can see under my status that is unreliable and what's the reason the reason is that it's out of range high 
meaning that its actual value is really higher than the maximum value that you are allowing here. So it's actually reading 35. And you can find these min and max values in Metasys as well, right here right here so you can also change them from here but we're not gonna do that we're gonna fix it in a different way since we mentioned before that this sensor uh, was actually a 0 to 5 volts and 0 to 25 psi that's actually gonna be within the range here so let's do that so let's say 0 to 5 volts and 0 to 25 range we're gonna save it and if it reads less than no more than 25 it's gonna show reliable so let's just wait for that okay you can see that it's still reading unreliable because it's above 25 and that's because uh, the input is receiving a 7 volt signal which uh, is supposed to be no more than 5 volts. And that's because I have a signal generator. So let me drop my signal generator to something less than 7 volts. So I'm just going to put, let's say, 4.5 volts. So I'm doing that right now. And if you want to see the value updating it, I can just double click here, my sensor, and you can see my 4.5 volts that I'm simulating with my signal generator. And we should see my DP going to a value less than uh, 25. Okay, there you go, 22.7. Okay, so this was my last example, but I must give you a warning. Anytime you start playing with the engineering tab, uh, it's not just all magical and everything's gonna work, no. I find out that, it, let's say that your this sensor is, is a voltage-based uh, sensor, but let's say that you wanna change it to uh, milliamps, like uh, four to 20 milliamps. Uh, these um, metasys will let you change it to current but when you apply the values or I should say when you save your changes um, and change the values uh, they're gonna reflect here but CCT is not gonna know that you change uh, the uh, the setup of the input so meaning that it, it won't know that you change uh, let's see let me show you right here it will still think that it's a signal 0 to 10 volts and not 4 to 20. So even if you upload the application after making the changes, uh, it's not going to take it. So you kind of need to manually change it in CCT. So I do not recommend to change any values like, like ranges. And another thing that I noticed, I can show you. Let's say a, uh, I'll show you a temperature, my discharge temperature. I'm going to double click on it. And let's say that you your sensor was actually a um, platinum, not a nickel. So if you go to edit, it also allows you to change it to platinum. And if you save uh, the settings, you will also see the changes. Uh, I can show you really quick. So right now we're reading 88, so I'm going to save it. And it's also going to automatically update your ranges from uh, 1600 and 670 to the actual platinum settings. These are in ohms, 1900 and 820, and you'll see that my sensor changed. And it also changes in my application, but the application won't know that you change uh, the, the sensor type. So that for that reason, I don't recommend it changing it from here. You know, I would just do it from CCT. But in the end, you can explore the, all the settings that uh, you can find and, and change under engineering tab, but you, but you must be very careful and always test your logic so this is it guys i hope you enjoyed this hybrid tutorial Do you know metasys and cct together and please subscribe if you are new to this channel and like this video if you learn anything new also if you guys know more tricks about this mysterious engineering tab please comment below and i will be happy to try them out and even do a second part tutorial until next time and keep learning and programming thank you very much